All right, here's my next boiler. Uh, 24 inch square firebox. The boiler itself is 32 inches tall, 20 inch diameter. It has uh, 22 <coughs> inch and a half copper tubes rolled in. Has a really nice old three chime whistle on it. It does have a dent on the back side, but it looks pretty good. And the valve is not working on it, so I'm going to leave this test valve on it. So I'm going to blow it now, and what you want to do maybe is turn down your volume. <laughs> to use that green handled valve for it. The valve inside is shot. But that works good. Nice tone to it as well. Pop-off valve is set at 100 pounds. I've had it up there oh, popping off many times today. So that's working fine. And I will remove this valve because uh, it has been tested. And fill and drain right here. You can blow it down once every couple hours or every every week, whatever you want to do. It has a, a airlock valve here. I'm going to turn on the switch to the pump there. And so always keep this cord away from the firebox and the, and the boiler. It's, it'll melt if you don't. So it's a real nice switch. You can hear it running here. And it's pumping all the air is out of it now. And now everything that's pumping now is going into the boiler. You don't want to put too much in at a time, it'll kill the steam. That's probably about enough. Just want to keep it up about halfway on the sight glass. And I think it's a little below halfway right now. So that's working good. The blower is right here. I only recommend using the blower, blower when you are just putting in new wood. There's a ring in the center of the of it, and it uh, pulls a lot of air up through the firebox. Ash pan is right here. My fire's gone down quite a bit there. I'll turn the blower back on. If I was putting new wood in, it would light right up. That's working good. Water sight glass is right here. Tricox. Engine out is right back here. It's half inch. Yeah, so my latest boiler. This little valve here is a good to have uh, if something happens to the check valve. If a piece of dirt or something gets in the check valve, you always want to be able to shut the steam off to it because that comes right up from the boiler. And a nice little pump. Start pumping at about 80 pounds of boiler pressure. And that's about it, I guess. Thanks for watching. My name is Ross Bendixson. You can find this boiler on eBay for sale. Uh, when you search eBay, just search Steam Off Grid on eBay. And uh, my uh, email address is Anacortes Steam. A N A C O R T E S S T E A M at gmail.com and a quart of steam at gmail.com and you can call me my number is 206-948-0770 thanks for watching one thing i didn't mention is the stack about 80 inches to the top of the stack all the way to the bottom a lot of guys have been putting them indoors and uh, venting the stack outside and uh, i can show them how to do that. 
And also you want to, if you have a steam engine, you want to run that uh, exhaust from the steam up into the flue and up to create draft in your boiler firebox. All right, thanks, thanks, bye.